Hi, this is Jason with Fluke, and today we're gonna to be talking about the power quality logger mode for the Fluke 1770 series power quality analyzer. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start by tapping PQ logger, and it's gonna bring us into a screen allowing us to go through and make adjustments of our setting parameters. So this is where you can come into the tool and you can make adjustments to things like your voltage ratios, your topology, your current settings. But what we're gonna do here is, is that we're gonna go down and take a look at our event triggers. And event triggers are already preset up based on a power quality standard for you. So you don't actually need to go in and modify these unless you wanna make changes from a standard. But otherwise they're already preset up for you. We also have the ability to scroll down and we can make modifications to the transient triggering. We have rapid voltage changes as well as it can do inrush capture. So if we go to the session settings, we have the ability here to create a name for the configuration as well as a description so when you record the files later you'll know what they were referencing. We can also pick a duration here. And the duration allows us to pick how long we want to record for. So this duration, we give you some presets here. So let's pick 30 days, for example. So in this menu, we'll see how much memory is being consumed by the recording in green, the gray is the remaining, and the black is the used memory. And we'll see what our current trend interval is, is which is one minute. But in the duration, we have the ability to set it to what we call no end. So no end essentially allows us to record limitlessly up till the memory fills up and then it would just overwrite itself. So this way if you needed semi-permanent or permanent recording installation, you could put it into a no end configuration and leave it there and come back when you need data when an event's occurred. We're gonna go ahead and tap done here. So we also have trend interval. So trend interval ties into the resolution of the trending data itself which will be min, max, and average trend data. So the trend interval here will be one minute, but we can set it for as low as one second, or we can increase the time for increasing the length of time recording that we have. And so in this case, it doesn't have anything to do with your event capture. Events are still captured when they happen. So we're done here. So we also have an option here, harmonics. So for harmonics setup, we can do store enter harmonics. We can do three second harmonic data, which would be for IEEE 519 purposes as an example. We can also store 10 minute super harmonics, which are two to 30 kilohertz harmonic frequencies. And once we pick these, it'll also show us how much memory consumption is taking place from those parameters, letting us know the max record time. I'm going to go ahead and tap done here. So the next step is, is to verify configuration. So once we've verified our settings are correct, if we go to verify connection on the screen here, go ahead and tap verify connection. So that'll put us into a screen here which shows our live active voltages, our power as well, and also our current numbers. So if we go ahead and we click verify phaser, we get our vector diagram, and we can also go to verify scope and look at waveform data. And we can also go to the topology where we can change from a Y to Delta here if we needed to or a various power configuration. We can change the nominal voltage as well as the nominal frequency from here. But we'll go back to verify meter and we'll see that when we're in the verify meter screen we have red indicators for the B phase. There's an X indication and an orange start indicator. All of these tell us that there's a problem with the current configuration. And so what we can do here is, is that we have the option to correct digitally or we can do autocorrect. So by tapping autocorrect here, the meter will go through and fix itself and correct the problems. So no needing to get back into the electrical panel, the fixes are all in place. And so now we'll see that we have start is green. So I can go ahead and tap start here to initiate the recording session. And so right now we'll see that this recording has started. So we have REC at the top of the screen and we also have a flashing green power indicator indicating that the recording is indeed in progress. And this concludes the setup of the PQ logger mode for the Fluke 1770 series power quality analyzer.